and my friend Santa was a little bit of poo. And I can start by putting some... I don't know what this is. What you can do, now I'm going to come in here with the white. And with the white right down in here. It doesn't look like a cornfield. But then, who cares? I don't. I take some light blue. Maybe because I haven't got anything on this side, I might make this. Just like this. I know what I can do with the cornfield. You know, you gotta change brushes once in a while. And uh, I'm gonna take them like this. Okay, I picked up some of my gold and I'm gonna See what I can do with it. it being a cornfield. I think I'll have the corn come up higher up on this side because I got the trees on this side. And I'm picking up plain paint, a lot of paint. Some of them will come down like this. Some go over here like this, and some get smaller as they go back over here. And this one, I gotta pick up more paint, but I'm using darker paint, trying to get this to look like a corn, corn stalk. A little closer. Maybe, maybe it comes down like this. There's one right up here. I wasn't going to do a snow picture, but you know what? I ended up doing a snow picture. I'm going to put a little bit of darker areas in some of these. Maybe there's a pine tree in there. Maybe a couple pine trees, which you know, it sort of echoes these down here. Um, I'm going to put birds going south. And you know what? I think I'm going to sign my name. I don't think I can do it with this. So. I can't. I'm sure I have to do it. But over here, I do my put a little bit of texture. Break that up. What do you think, folks? What I started with is entirely different. And uh, there's only one other thing 
I feel I want to do. And um, I want to take some pure white. And I want to bring in some, some texture. You can just lay your brush on like that. Yeah. So it's kind of A little bit different. Maybe a little of this sky. You color your, always want to color your colors around the, so that, look at that then. I kind of like that. Watercolor says, well, I'm going to do what I want to do. Let's see if I'll do it here. I don't think it will. Make it a little more. See now, another thing, a lesson I might teach you is once you get it the way you want it, get out of it. Just, just get right out of it. Bring that little yellow in there. And now I'm getting out of it. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. You know, I think of God and how he created this earth. You just try creating something and come out with it so beautiful. I think this turned out interesting. And God looks at things and he says, I think it looks good. He said that in Genesis. He made everything and he said, it looks good. And he loves us so much that he did it for us. He gave us all this beauty in this world. But in heaven, he says, there's great and mighty things that you know not that he's going to give us. We can't even know not what he's going to give us. I hope you know him today. Because if you don't, you won't be getting all those gifts. I do want to put this in the bit. See how it looks here. And, and, um, there's a mat on. I can get it. Put it in a mat, and uh, it's, the mat's not quite the right size, but I just wonder, you saw how I started out. I didn't know what I was going to do, but this kind of gives me a feeling of, of what's coming it, what, this month of October, and uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, Maybe it's the first snow we, we've had. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my demonstration. Um, and I also hope that you love Jesus today, because he loves you. And may God bless you today. I'm going to go a little slower. It's kind of fast. I try one more time. You gotta do this when you're 97 years old, all by yourself. Try it sometime if you're that old. I hope you're painting, because you never stop painting, and I won't. There you go. That's it.